Now to a dramatic moment in the double murder trial of Alex Murdaugh. The once prominent attorney is accused of killing his wife and youngest son at their South Carolina home in June of 2021. Well, today Murdaugh's oldest son took his stand and described his father's behavior the night his mother and brother were killed. CBS's Nikki Batiste is at the courthouse. On the stand today, Alec Murdaugh's surviving son, Buster, spoke publicly for the first time about the night his mother, Maggie, and brother, Paul, were found dead. He says he rushed to his father's side. What was his demeanor? Yeah, his demeanor was, I mean, he was destroyed. He was heartbroken. Buster described his family as tight-knit and Murdaugh as a devoted father. But prosecutors have painted Murdaugh as a manipulative man who conned people out of millions of dollars for years. They claim Murdaugh killed his wife and son in an attempt to distract from a decade of alleged financial crimes before they came to light as part of a separate civil case involving his son Paul, who was charged with boating under the influence in a crash that killed a 19-year-old girl. Police body camera from the night of the murder shows Murdaugh suggesting the boat crash as the killer's motive. My son was in a boat wreck. He's okay. been getting threats. I know that's what it is. Before wrapping its case last week, the prosecution showed jurors footage of investigators questioning Murdoch two months after the murders. Did you kill Maggie? No. Did I kill my wife? Yes, sir. Not a day. Prosecutors also played video recorded by Paul Murdaugh just before his death, showing his father wearing a different outfit from the white t-shirt and shorts he had on when police arrived. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. So the prosecution may have been very, very effective, but it's getting to that motive that becomes the stretch. The defense team tells me they're considering putting Alec Murdaugh on the stand to testify. The defense also says they plan to wrap their case on Friday, which means the jury would likely begin deliberations next week. Nora? Nikki Batiste, thank you so much.